What's up guys, Justin here with TheCGEssentials.com back with another Blender material tutorial for you. So in today's video, I'm gonna teach you how to create a really quick mirror material that'll reflect light in your renderings inside of Blender. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so we're gonna do this the easy way. Um, if you want a 100% physically correct mirror, there are some more complex ways of doing this, but most of the time I think people just want light to reflect off of a surface. So I'm gonna talk about a quick, easy way to do that. Um, um, note that I've got a couple example models in here. The bowling ball is from Blender Kit. And so what we're gonna do here is we're going to apply a material to our mirror plane that we have right here. So I've added a plane inside of my studio model um, that's actually blocking one of my lights, but it's not really that big of a deal. This is our studio model that we've created a while ago, and I wanna make this reflective. And so the way that we're gonna do that is we're gonna add a new material to this object. So we're just going to click on this object right here and click the plus button in order to add a new material. So then we'll go down, we'll click the plus button for new, and you can see how this creates a new principled BSDF shader. And so what this is gonna do is this is going to create a principled shader. Well, in this situation, we don't want a principled shader, right? We've used a principled shader in the past, like if we go to our shader editor, um, we've used a principled shader in the past in order to create things with textures that are applied to them. Well, in this situation, we don't really want that. We wanna do something much simpler. So the way that we're gonna do that is we're gonna change this from a principled shader to a glossy shader. So all we have to do is click on the button for glossy right here. And so then I'm just gonna tab into edit mode real quick and I'm gonna select this surface. I'm gonna assign this to our surface. So notice how right now, first of all, we are in Eevee. Um, for simplicity's sake, let's go into our render properties and switch over to cycles. Um, just cause cycles handles reflections. Eevee um, in the base mode does not. Um, there, You can do some things with reflection probes, but for right now, let's go ahead and go into cycles. And so if we look at this surface, what you're gonna notice and I'm gonna go back into my material editing mode, is you do have some more light bouncing off of this surface, but it's getting kind of, it's, it's not reflecting in a very good way, right? And so we wanna take this object and make it reflective. So the way that we're gonna do that is within our glossy BSDF shader, you can see there's a value in here for roughness. So roughness is affecting the way this material is scattering light. What we wanna do is we wanna bring this in and set it to a value of zero. So I'm just gonna type in a value of zero and hit the enter key. You'll notice how now what this is doing is instead of scattering the light, the light is actually bouncing off of the surface creating this mirrored effect. And so because of this, this is now acting as a mirror inside of our rendering. And so if we were to go into our camera view and render our image, you can see how within our rendering, this is going to give us a view that shows a reflection off of that glossy shader. All right, so you can see how that gets us a reflection using cycles. However, what if you wanna create the reflection using Eevee? So right now cycles is giving us the ability to, uh, cycles is giving us the ability to render out this reflection, but it's a lot slower. Well, let's say you wanted to do this in Eevee. So right now, if you were to switch your render engine over to Eevee, you can see how you don't see anything in here because this mirror is only reflecting light. It's not reflecting anything having to do with the objects. So you can't see like the floor reflected or anything like that. And so what we can do though is be because of the way that Eevee calculates things, um, it can't calculate by itself the way that the light is gonna bounce off of these materials. And so what we need to do is we need to give it a little bit of help. And so the way that we're gonna give it a little bit of help is we're going to use what's known as a light probe. And so if we were to go back into object mode right here and do a shift A, if you scroll down, there's an option down here for light probe. Basically what a light probe is gonna do is light probe is going to help EV calculate the way that lighting is going to reflect. And so in this situation, what we wanna do, because this is just a simple plane, is we want to add a reflection plane. And so a reflection plane is basically a probe that looks for and calculates the way that light is going to reflect based on a plane, in this case, our mirror. So we're gonna add this reflection plane. And so the first thing we need to do is we need to align it with our mirror object over here. So we're just gonna use the move tool. So we're just gonna tap G, use the Y key to move this over, and then we're gonna rotate this on the Y axis or 
the x-axis 90 degrees. So we want the arrow pointing towards the object that we want to reflect. And I'm gonna move this back a little bit more. Well, notice how when I do this, if I move this so that it's aligned with the wall, suddenly you're getting reflections bouncing off of this plane wherever this probe is. And so what we wanna do is we wanna move this up and we wanna scale it out until it encompasses the entire mirror. So I'm just gonna do a scale. I'll tap the X key in order to scale this along the X axis. And now all of a sudden, inside of Eevee, you can also render this with reflections. So by using this reflection plane probe, um, you can use this in order to calculate reflections inside of Eevee. And so if I was to go back to my camera view, and then render this image again. This time it would render out with Eevee really quickly. There's some other things we'd probably want to do with the shadows, which we can talk about in a future video. But if you want to re create reflections inside of an Eevee rendering, you can use these probes in order to do that. And then your renders will go through a lot faster. So that's where I'm gonna end this video. Leave a comment below and let me know what you thought. Was this helpful to you? Did you know you could do this? I just love having that conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new Blender content every week. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.